Hi, and I'm Jen from Thermo Generator, and today I am going to teach you how to make the perfect poached eggs in the TM6. It's all about the blade cover. So when we place the blade cover on top of the blades, it means that our eggs can't sink to the bottom and get chopped up. So the blade cover, which has just become available at the mix shop, unfortunately it ran out of um, stock very, very quickly in a matter of a couple of days, but they are coming back. So if you haven't already got one of these, you want to earmark this as a purchase because these are fabulous. They change the whole world of Thermomix when it comes to um, not chopping up anything um, that you want to uh, retain the integrity of its shape including poached eggs. So what happens is, is that the blade cover has got a top that I'm holding here and the bottom. And it's those little vertical lugs that you can see that actually slot between the blades. So when I'm popping it in, it's just a matter of putting that down, giving it a little wriggle so that the top of the blade cover is flush with the top of the knob and it's just the blade is just going to still be able to spin underneath that blade cover without breaking up the eggs as I cook them. Now what do I need to make poached eggs? Well, you need a few things. You need some water, um, 1700 mils of water, or 1700 grams as we talk in Thermiland. Um, a splash of white vinegar. The vinegar adds acidity to the water and helps the egg white coagulate um, um, and stay whole, okay, during the cook. So um, it's important to put a little bit of vinegar in there. I'm going to be poaching two eggs that I have dispensed into two separate containers. Um, you also need some paper towel to strain your eggs on after, or drain your eggs on after they're finished cooking, and a slotted spoon. So I press on my scales, spring up my scales, make sure that they're teared to zero, and I add my 1700 grams of water. matter if it's a little bit more and also a good splash of vinegar pop the lid on and now I'm going to get the water to 100 degrees on kettle mode so I bring up my kettle mode I want it to get to 100 degrees engage the mode and off it goes once it's at temperature, I'll be back. So once it's reached 100 degrees on kettle mode, press the home button, go to the home screen, and I'm going to set five minutes on my timer. And set it to 100 for temperature. So you want to maintain it at 100 degrees. Oh, there you go. And spoon soft. Soft spoon is just a gentle agitation and we can put it into reverse as well. Okay, so now I'm taking the MC off and it's going to stay off during the rest of the cook. And I'm going to add one egg at a time into the water. And readjust my time now to um, three and a half minutes. I like my eggs with a soft center, so three and a half minutes is plenty of time. Depending on how you like it, you might have to adjust it accordingly. Now this will poach successfully up to four eggs at a time. If you're gonna put four eggs in there, you'll need to go for soft centers up to four minutes for the four eggs. Okay, I'm gonna go and cook my toast and I'll be back in a tick. All right, so now let's reveal these beautiful poached eggs. Um, this is where I use my slotted spoon to carefully 
back in and bring them out. Oh, they look just like a spider there. Go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Another one. Stick in here. Strain a little bit. Draining it, pop it on the toast. Of course, the salt and pepper. Now, let me just show you. Absolutely perfect poached eggs. I'm going to tuck into these. I hope this has helped.